so hello everyone and uh, welcome to the part two of some you know important or useful scripts that can be used while handling data so in this video i'm going to show you how uh, i'm going to show you and explain you one script which you can use to record and save live data from the camera so say you want to do some machine learning project you have your camera and uh, uh, you want to record any data and you want to save it live uh, in your system so how you can do it so let's let's get to the code directly so that's my code here and uh, i'll be using the opencv library in order to read the feeds from the camera and uh, record and uh, save the data i'll be using this os module so first we'll define the path the path is the uh, it will get the path of the current working directory and then you define your name of the output data directory so in my case, I'm just naming it as data. And if it's already not there in your uh, project directory, so in my case, my project directory is this uh, test project. So if it's not there, it will be created by the uh, by this two lines of code. And then the main function to uh, record and save the data is this function. So we initialize the camera device. So in my case, I'm using the default laptop webcam. So it's zero. If you're using external webcam, then you have to look for the device ID like one, two. And then this two lines of code, uh, it just sets the width and height of the frame that will be recorded. In my case, it's default 640 into 480, but there are many other camera devices which apply, which 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 uh, gives you this uh, flexibility of choosing different resolutions. So this two will be used to you know set the frame width and height. And this is just to you know check whether the capture uh, device is open and just to print the shape and all okay and this is the video name or the output name the output name is the folder name in which the frames will be saved so you can just pass uh, argument here and uh, then we define the frame counter like frame number it helps to save the frames in a sequence uh, and number it in a sequence so we can easily you know use it uh, later and then this is the folder name or uh, the uh, the name of the actual folder which will be created inside this uh, data data folder so it's the current working directory the output data directory which is the data and the video name is the you know the name of the video which you're going to save it and if this this path or uh, this video name is not there in the defined path it will create through this lines of code and this then we'll start this uh, reading from the camera to cap.read and then this is the base name is the base name with which all the frames will be saved and this is the counter so it, it keeps on incrementing for every frame so i have just defined a 060 so it will save it in 0001 0002 you can just change it or you can just you know directly save it as one two three whatever you use it and then this is the extension of the image like dot png and this is the final output file path the folder name and the output file name and then as there is a variable called write video if it's false it will not write it will you know just uh, do a i am show just to show you what the camera feed are being read if it's true then it will start writing okay then uh, we'll call this function through this so let's say uh, the output name is a video and uh, i'm just making write video equal to false so at first you should make it false in order to just check what your um, camera is positioned at what is actually seen and you can see here uh, this camera is on and you can see the frame counter is also visible here and uh, when we call this code the data folder was not there but now we have this data folder already created for us and the read folder but there will be nothing saved here because you know the right command is false and if you want to once you position like your camera your capturing device then you can just uh, select on the screen and press q and it will be used okay now let's say um, we want to save or we want to do a data collection for object recognition so i want to create a data for bottles so i'll just make a bottle and i'll write i'll make this right video as true okay and i'll run this code so now let's see when we make right video is true what we get so the camera is switched on and say i have this bottle which I want to get recognized by a neural network. So I start collecting the data, uh, this bottle at different position, and maybe I can get even some other bottle, say here, and uh, this code will now start saving these uh, frames in a proper sequence. And if you want to, once you're done with collecting these bottles, you just press Q, and now you can go and see here in your folder, 
So in the test project, there is data, and then there is a directory called bottle, bottle, and uh, and you can see this uh, frame names. Uh, so yeah, it's already loud. So you can see image underscore zero 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 one, and you can see all the frames coming from the camera have been saved here in a sequence. So all the uh, you know the frames from the video or the camera are saved in proper sequence with proper number with a base name. Okay, so now say you want to save, uh, you want to create video for another object, say a phone. Then you just write phone and write video equal to true and just need to run this script. I'm running in spider editor, you can run it even through Python console and you just show your phone and you start collecting your data at different position, different phone and uh, you know, you just keep on collecting uh, for as many frames you want. Say, and you can see the frame counter here, just press Q if you want to close it and you can go and see here now in the data directory there will be another folder called phone and when you open it you can see that the frames have been saved as you know the base name so you can change the base name as instead of image you can uh, change it to you know mobile phone and it will save mobile phone underscore zero zero one zero zero two and so on till the end frame of uh, of how many how many frames you wanted and uh, before pressing the Q button. So you can see there are 255 frames saved here with the uh, mobiles and so this is the way in which you can use the script and create your own data in a proper structured manner with the different uh, data name and the frames uh, you know, created in a sequence. So the, in this video or, or in this code we will save all the frames, uh, all the feed from the camera in form of frames in single image you know in a sequence of frame. In the next video, I'll show you how you can use all the sequence of frame to create a video out of it. Okay, and uh, this script uh, will be available at my uh, in my Get GitHub, and I'll post the link in the description. So if you have any questions, comment. You can just comment below. And until then, uh, keep learning and keep exploring neurons. Bye.